true to it. Well, uh, Don Humphreys is here. He's, uh, he's the latest author that has some current books out that he wants to talk about. He also wants to talk briefly about Mr. Getty's uh, 1980 book. So, Don, talk, tell America about the book and uh, I'll be back. Okay. Um, let's, get, let's get mine out of the way. Yeah, talk about 146 it years ago, the Confederate gold traveled these parts and disappeared. Uh, I wrote a modern day mystery about seven middle graders whose town was uh, in economic disaster. Um, Eight in South Carolina. Abbey Hill. Fairly close. Uh, anyway, um, these seven kids stumbled, they, they heard about the gold and they stumbled into finding the gold. And this is the, the book that tells how it was done. It's a really fun read. Please get it on Amazon.com, um, Nook, Kindle, Worldwide. Now, now his book is fiction, and when y'all read it, I'll, then I'll tell you the real story of what happened that gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about this one. I borrowed this is the only remaining copy of, uh, of The Golden Bay. And I, I wondered about the name of the book. Um, it's kind of a funny name to me. Or, and uh, but it didn't take long to figure out why it was named the Golden Bay, because that was the name of the white lightning that the book talks about, which is a, uh, a, a really a, is a period piece from the 20s and 30s, depression piece, very good Americana description. I, I, I want to, I'm going to be working on it hard to, to release a second edition. It's a very very ex exceptionally good read. I want to know what it was really like in these parts, or a little bit lower down towards around Sumter, right? Uh, in the 20s and 30s, and how bad people had it. Uh, people just like us were starving to death in this period. And, uh, and most everybody that, uh, that lived in the, in the outback or the woods, they produced their own liquor, their own white light. Then everybody had a steal. Um, and a lot of preachers and a lot of, uh, most people just overlooked it because things were so bad. They were just terrible. Uh, this book tells about a young man whose family was starving to death. He had two kids. Uh, yeah, by the beginning of the book, the second was being born. Um, and uh, his family is starving to death. They eat what were the grits and cornbread every single day. That's all they had. Because they grew their own corn and had to share it with the meat. <laughs> so, You're surprised. I didn't think you could make out corn. Yeah. Well, one thing being Liquor. <laughs> the white light. So, this was a time of the speakeasy, right? They didn't make all this money selling this white lightning to the locals. No, they had the contact from up north. And the mob gets involved. It's a very, very exceptional good book. I'm going to be working on it hard to get him to release the second Two You've got money. We can do this. <laughs> <laughs> we can do this, brother. You can have it on Amazon sitting beside mine. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Kennedy. It was a great pleasure. I want a copy of this if you've ever <laughs> found it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. kind words. I appreciate it. Mr. Gates, thank you. Who's the kid on the back cover? That was me when I was young, good looking, and had plenty of money, and married to a good looking woman. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I still am. I don't mess with <laughs> <laughs>